Manila Bay is a prominent downtown in Metro Manila. This has a lot of malls, it has casinos, an entertainment city, a bustling CBD. In this video, I'll show you the best of Manila Bay. SM Mall of Asia is the biggest mall in the Philippines. This used to be the third largest mall in the world, but I think now it's slipped to the position of number six. This mall covers an area of 500,000 square meter and it is massive and gigantic in size. It offers various different concepts, so different sections. That also includes a skating ring and they also have their own marine promenade where you can walk, cycle or also play a lot of games. It's almost like a mini amusement park. I'll show you the mall, both the inside portion as well as the marine promenade. It's of course got good views because it's on the Manila Bay. The only little downside that I find in Mall of Asia is that it's uh, a bit crowded. It attracts a lot of crowd and it's always packed. The Mall of Asia is located on the Manila Bay and there's an access bridge from where you can go from the mall to the promenade which has a few restaurants, bars and a lot of games. It's sort of a mini amusement, uh, I can't say a park but a mini amusement promenade. That's the Mall of Asia at the back and we are heading towards the seaside, the promenade. And that's a Ferris wheel, the eye of Moa, they call it, Mall of Asia. This is the seaside promenade. It's actually a very long stretch. This probably goes on for more than two kilometers. And it's raining today. It's actually, uh, it's drizzling right now while I'm recording. Otherwise, this place is extremely crowded. And that's the Manila Bay. And I can see there's a reclamation going on there. Probably they're building something in the sea there. On a rainy day. Actually, it's not bad. You know, I've never seen this place so deserted. It's got a different kind of a charm today. Well, this is a cute coffee shop. I'll zoom the camera. That is actually the Conrad Hotel. And it also has a mall at its basement called as the S Mason, which has a lot of good restaurants. It's sort of a fine dining hotspot. And the light that you can see is coming from the CBD. In front of me is the SMX Convention Center, which is like the convention plaza. And this is the MOA Square, which has uh, a few good dining options. And right next to it is the IKEA. The IKEA in Manila is considered to be the biggest IKEA in the world in terms of the number of inventory items that they carry. Uh, by that I mean uh, the different types of items. So we are heading to IKEA now. Yatsik coffee has grown in popularity in Manila. And you can see the Ferris wheel there, that's actually the seaside. It's end of September and Manila is already in the Christmas mood. And in front of me is the IKEA store. We are heading there. We've just entered the IKEA store. This is actually a very large store in the Philippines. It's spread over two different levels. But I'm not going to go inside the whole store. We all know how IKEA looks like. Yeah, but if you want to do some home shopping, this is the option at the Manila Bay.
Okada is an integrated casino resort, which has, of course, a gaming floor, hotels, a lot of restaurants, bars, and a retail area. It's very opulent, and it is the biggest casino resort in the Manila Bay area. This is uh, Cove Manila. This is an indoor swimming area. It turns into a nightclub at night. It's like a beach club and it's quite famous. So this section of the Okada Casino is called as the Crystal Corridor. This is largely the restaurant hub. It's got a variety of restaurants and bars to choose from. There are actually more than 40 restaurants to choose from. And on my right is the fountain area. This is uh, one of the largest fountain areas uh, in the world actually. And the fountain show starts at 6 p.m. Right now this is afternoon so we won't be able to show you the fountain show. But yeah, you can see the expanse and the scale of it. It's quite big. Manila Bay is also a bustling business district. And you'll find a lot of Chinese uh, restaurants and different Chinese shops here. Because a lot of Chinese are actually settled in this area. Now we're heading to the Parkle Mall. Parkle is the newest mall to open in the Manila Bay area. While this is a mall, but it is a well-designed retail concept. This is basically designed like how a street would be. Although it's a mall, but it is designed in the shape of a street. So if you observe, you keep walking like how you walk on the street and you have shops and restaurants on both the sides. MetLife is a utility mall. It's a part of the Metro Park Township and it has some good restaurants to check out. This is a nice authentic uh, Chinese good restaurant. Very colorful and the menu is also nice. And this looks like a very interesting wine bar. So Flamengo has this uh, little cellar here and at the first glance uh, the wine variety is quite good. It has a cute spot. It has particularly good options if you like Chinese food and a lot of them are very authentic. One of the relatively unknown spots in the Manila Bay area is the Blue Bay Walk. It's an open park surrounded by a lot of restaurants and a little bit of utility shopping. This serves as a backyard to the Metro Park Township and it's a good place to come and chill out 
and have a coffee or grab a beer. This is just outside the Mall of Asia and if you go straight you head towards the new downtown area of Manila Bay. In front of me is the Mall of Asia Arena. That's the place where a few concerts and events takes place. And right next to that is the IKEA. This section of the video is shot on a different day when it's not raining. And this is the sky garden of the Mall of Asia. So this is the newest addition to the Mall of Asia and is a good place to watch the sunset. And that's the Manila Bay. And now you'll see the promenade today is quite full. It's not raining and it's full of people all to have a good time. S. Mason is a small mall, but if you like fine things in life, this is the right place to come. It's got a few dining options and a lot of them are good. And the most important thing is, this mall has a good view of the sea from the second floor. S. Mason has a good selection of restaurants. This Las Flores is one of my favorite Spanish restaurants in Manila. And the mall also has a touch of elegance. The restaurants on the second floor have an upper deck or upper terrace which offers a good view of the sea. It's night time so you can't see the sea well but uh, that's the bay in front of me. On the weekends you can catch the fire cracker show at the Manila Bay. If you're in Manila Bay, do not miss the live band at Hard Rock Cafe. Cheers. And don't miss to subscribe to YT Andy. Manila Bay is a very large area with a very wide footprint. In this video, I've covered the best of Manila Bay. If you're in this area, you can also visit City of Dreams, Solar Casino and Ayala Malls by the Manila Bay, which is not covered in this video. Thanks for watching YT Andy and stick for more.